The Galactic Free Press Update The Golden Age is upon us. Bringing humanity home, energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. We recently went through the much anticipated 121212 Stargate and portal opening. The gates of heaven are wide open. The broadcast system is activated. Mother Earth Equal Heart is in the 5D frequencies, holding the space for humanity to enter. As of the 121212, those who walked through the Stargate entered completely into the unknown, which is also called the present moment of now. The unknown is where the energy of creation and the energy of love come together to create more joy and happiness. This is also called reality and heaven on earth. Also, we have intense waves of energy arriving and events of insanity as a result of this intensity. Quoted from John Smallman. Time as you experience experience it has accelerated significantly over the last two years and December 21st 2012 which is approaching rapidly will bring the start of untold joy for humanity as you've been told <clears throat> numerous times it's a done deal there are no ifs ands or buts hold steady on your course by continuing to express and demonstrate love and action in every interaction, no matter what the situation, because that is what you incarnated to do. And you've been doing it with ever-increasing effectiveness, as you have worked constantly to open your hearts more fully to God's love, which is always calling to you. End of quote. It's really important in these moments to stay centered within as external events can take your attention away. We are in a time compression as we head towards December 21st alignment as all timelines are merging into one. You can, however, use these <coughs> events to assist in the transmutation of the denser energies into light. Love wins in the no matter what, and this is exactly what is now unfolding. Our recent events have put many into shock and some into awakening as well through this. In love's decrees which we have announced, the first decree states no more killing of our children and we mean this. Love is the answer. Quoted from my post, and through it all, we must keep loving as hard as we can, each other and the people around us. Because if we do this, maybe we can finally make guns obsolete. If we can make our dealings with each other as full of understanding and acceptance and love as much as possible, maybe we can end this kind of insanity. End of quote. Quoted from the Galactic Free Press, Our deep love, gratitude, and compassion goes out to the children, their parents, and the staff at the school in the United States and in China, as well as to all those across this planet in similar situations <clears throat> on a daily basis. May this open eyes and open hearts. The illusion is over. The powers who were are done. This event and many others is just another way for them to distract and cause unneeded pain and suffering. However, the amazing aspect is when something like this occurs, it makes the light grow stronger. Let this be their last events and attempts. 
<clears throat> Let's grab hands, hearts, and souls and stand up and shine the light of truth. So be it. Love the Earth Allies. And quoted from Moon Hippie Mystic, Please take a moment to send all the love in your heart to their parents and families, their brothers and sisters, their friends and teachers. Please raise your energy to lift the veil so that we may know that we are the ones we have been waiting for. Let us come together in humanity at this moment that will resonate with us all. Hold peace and love in your hearts and call upon the angels to give comfort. End of quote. The crystalline grid, which has been completed and finalized during our last portal, is on. Those who are ready will be making the passageway to this grid surrounding this planet. This is achieved telepathically, and you will be moving into the higher frequencies to birth your higher self into the physical realm. You will know as you will experience a series of synchronistic events and unique initiations, which will light your heart and fill you in overflowing love. You will receive a light up. This portal will remain open as we make the passageway. We intend many more awakenings as a result of the energies pouring forth from all the portals. The Golden Age is upon us. Quoted from Ron Head, In less than one week, you will move into your age of Aquarius. You will spend a few moments in direct alignment with the galactic plan, plane. You will receive the greatest flood of light and information in your entire earthly experience. And you will be forever changed. We speak of you, the individual, but also every consciousness upon your planet, your planet herself. And because everything is unity, nothing which is will will, will remain unaffected. We suggest you begin right now by opening yourselves in earnest, intent to receive whatever is in store for you with deepest gratitude. We promise that it will be more than you have imagined. More than a few of you are already having the experience of feeling the rise of the incoming changes. To you, we say, you have not begun to see all which is in store for you. End of quote. <clears throat> As we shared in our last update, historic moments on this planet are underway. The moment has come to rise up. The galactic alignment will trigger the massive changes which will assist in the birth of the new paradigm. This planet belongs to the people in love and reality. Quoted from Cobra, It is time to take action. It is time to take the destiny of our planet in our own hands. Therefore, we will meet in groups, large and small, as individuals and couples, at the exact time of the solstice, at the end of the Mayan 5,125-year cycle, on December 21st. On this day, a powerful flash of energy from the galactic central sun will reach the earth and trigger long-lasting changes. Masses will gather on this day and invoke the presence and intervention of our positive extraterrestrial star brothers and sisters, which will assist us in the process of liberation of our planet from the tyranny of the dark forces. So that for the first time in our history, we will have the chance to create our own destiny as free citizens of this earth. End of quote. Sheldon Idle said, The galactic, the great galactic year is upon us. It will begin the resetting of time in which the light will rise again. End of quote. And quoted from John Smallman, The date 
21st of December 2012 is on the minds of many as the moment for humanity's awakening approaches. Expectations are high, as much has been promised, and there is anxiety that what is to be delivered will not live up to your expectations. Do not worry. What is to be delivered is far beyond any of your expectations. There will be no disappointments as a new age is delivered, bringing with it enormous improvements in the living standards of those who presently live in dire poverty, enabling them to live in the comfort and safety that is the unalienable right of every human being. The constant struggle to pay for food and shelter and the resultant but unreal sense of security that provides and with which most of you have to contend will be a thing of the past. End of quote. Waves of intense energy are already arriving and will increase in intensity. We have varying degrees of experiences from this event, all the way from unusual odd experiences for release to the elated experiences of peace and joy. The effects from this opening stargate are being revealed to us every moment leading up to the galactic alignment and the birth of the new paradigm, or birth of light. The energy of love is real reality and will be coming into view. Quoted from Sheldon Nidal. This new reality is not a dream. It is utterly real. We have seen what the manifestation of these events really means to you and how joyfully you anticipate them. These events are a divine blessing and reflect the importance of the decrees issued from Aeon. You have much to do, as do we all. We are blessed with the arcane knowledge that was entrusted to us over the millennia, and we are now to impart this grand teaching and wisdom to humanity. It is a book of instructions for all who travel the path to full consciousness and divine immortality, and over the eons we kept it safe from the dark and held it close to our hearts. Soon after the first announcements, our sacred associates will prepare you for our formal appearance and a global series of lessons. They will be broadcast to you telepathically and also via the internet, radio, and television. As we keep emphasizing, all of this is just the start of what is to be re revealed to you. For example, an immense amount of knowledge has also been kept from me by the dark. What we will be telling you will, be, will enable you to better understand the truth of what you will be witnessing. Your reality has been so manipulated by the dark that you don't know what is real and what is not, and steeped in a fog of confusion. We have come to supply the means for you to discern clearly the truth of upcoming information, revelations, and actions. It is time for you to step firmly into the light and start to undo what the dark did to destroy your home world. You can make restitution to Gaia with your divine gifts of wonderful energy which can bring her back to her full potential. Together we will forge a sacred alliance between all earth, humanity, and the great heavenly ones who now are guiding us back to the light. The time for wondrous things to happen has come. So be ready to use your knowledge of these things to help your friends and family through what lies ahead. First contact is a mission whose time has finally come. End of quote. The new earth is being born. Although many of you wish to see all this manifest in an instant, this is not how energy works. It's a process, an unfoldment, a journey, and will be magical. This is what each of you came here for. A transformation is taking place <clears throat> from the inner to the outer and also requires full participation. This event has never occurred before in creation. Along with the new earth, 
the higher self is being born into the physical manifest. This is a brand new experience and a new adventure. This is about to begin for those who have stepped into the oneness energies. Quoted from James Gillian. There is nothing external about this process, though it can come in an external fashion. We have allowed others to enslave us through dependency, financially, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, due to looking outside of ourselves and not believing in the powerful, loving, joyous, manifesting God from within. The divine spark of the Creator is within each and every one of us. Yet, it is up to us to fan the spark to become the full flame. It is also up to us to not let others smother or extinguish our sacred fire, no matter how noble they hold their judgments to be. Now is the time to forgive. It is time to release the past. It is time to stand tall in our own divinity, reclaim and fully accept our birthright. We are all children of God, divine beings. Yet, now, it is time to grow up, buck up, and meet these challenges as gods and goddesses and not victims. It is graduation time. <clears throat> and never too late to turn in that A performance that will prepare, propel you into the fifth dimension. Nothing is impossible other than the word impossible. Let out your war cry. Scream at the heavens. It is time and remember. The in internal path holds the power. If you are trying to force your ways with external expectations, you will be left behind in a grand journey back to source. End of quote. A new book in creation is beginning, and this is a love story about us all. Together, we are birthing the unity consciousness, creating a living, unified field across this planet. This is everyone's destiny. This unity consciousness will be the highest energies on the planet, which will create an expansive unified field of energy. Decreed by Heaven The waves of this new earth energy will continue in intensity. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth, Equal Heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. End transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's Earth allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team.